What I'm going to do in this video is go through um, the extra functions that I set up on the radio uh, once I've got a quad bound. Um, so this already has a, a quad bound. If I go to the telemetry page, you can see it's um, reporting the voltage. Um, so that's all set up and good to go. But what I want to do is um, set it up so that I can get the radio to read out the voltage. Um, so what we go, what we do is we go into special functions, and I want to add a new function, um, and I want to get it set up on this switch in the top right, which is just to out of frame. So if I flick it around, you can see it picks the switch there. So I want it to be uh, activated on the middle, so that'd be up, middle, down. So that's the middle. Um, and what I want to do is I want to get it to play value. So play sound, play track, play value. Pick play value. And now we want to pick the value that I want it to play. Um, I want the battery voltage. So this is a, an X series um, receiver. So the battery voltage will be VFAS. Um, this is the, the voltage that comes from the telemetry on the flight controller. Um, there's three VFAS settings here. There's a VFAS plus, a minus, and just VFAS. So the plus is the maximum voltage that's been recorded uh, this flight. The minus is the minimum voltage that's been recorded this flight. And uh, just the VFAS on its own is the current value. So that's what I want it to play. It's just the current value. Um, and this last, uh, last bit here is um, the delay between repeats. So it with a little line like that means it won't repeat. Um, I, wanna, I want it to repeat. So if I leave the switch in this position, I want it just to keep reading out the, the voltage over and over again. 14, volts. So say we'll set it to four seconds. 14, volts. 14, and it will just keep doing that until you, until you stop it. So 14, volts. if I switch that away, um, that'll shut it up. So the, the other thing I like to put on this switch is I like to put the um, RSSI indicator. Um, it's not so much a problem now, but I was having problems uh, with my old radio and I just kind of got into the habit of having it here. Um, it's kind of really handy if you go into a new place and you're just sort of feeling out the area. Um, you can have it reading back your, um, your signal strength. Uh, so what I want to do is set that to D down, so this is the third position for this three position switch. And again, I want to set it to play value, and I want to set this to RSSI. And there we go. So RSSI has got the same settings, it's got a plus and a minus and RSSI, so that's maximum, minimum, and current. So we set it to current, and again, I want this to repeat every four seconds. Uh, it's quite sitting right next to me, so. And if we flick it up, and flick it off, there we go. So that's now um, re reading out the uh, the uh, battery voltage and the signal strength. The next thing I want to do is actually set an alarm for the battery voltage. So the signal strength will already um, have an alarm. Uh, the radio will already tell you when the uh, when the signal is getting low, but it won't tell you when the battery is getting low, um, mainly because it doesn't have a clue what the battery voltage is supposed to be. Um, so what we'll do for this is we go back a page. We need to set up a logical switch. Um, so this is, I'm actually going to set up two, and I'll explain why shortly. Um, so if you edit, I'm going to set up my first one as A is, actually I want to set the first one up as A is greater than X. I want to set A to be VFAS. VFAS there. I want to set the value to, let's say, 6 volts. Okay. So that one doesn't really make much sense at the moment. Now this one's going to make a bit more sense. So we edit this one. And we want to set this one to A is less than X. Nope. 
A is less than X, that one there. And we want to again set this to V fus. V fus. We want to set this one to a good battery voltage uh, where it'll, it'll give me enough time to come in and land, um, but I probably want to be coming in and landing at about this. So the value is completely up to you, but I found about 13.6. Um, if, if I start it, well, 10.6, 13.6. So I run um, 4 cell. Uh, 13.6 is pretty low, um, so it'll start to alarm at that point, uh, but it also gives me just that little bit um, to, to bring the quad back safely. Um, you also get this in punch outs occasionally, but just ignore those. Um, so what I want to do here is go and switch, and I want to use L01 as the switch. So what that means is L1 will activate if the voltage is over 6 volts. So currently you can see it's bolded, which means it's, it's active. L2 will activate if the voltage is less than 13.6 and L1 is active. So it needs to be between 6 and 13.6 volts. Now the reason for that is when you plug a battery in to the quad, the um, the flight controller tends to start uh, sending telemetry before it's done its um, battery check. So the first few parts of the telemetry, it actually reads it as zero volts, um, which means that when you first plug the thing in, it's gonna read zero volts, zero volts a couple of times, and then it will start reading the right value and stop alarming, and I just find that's annoying. So with this extra line, um, that stops it being annoying. So what we wanna do now is come into here, and we want to set up an actual function that will alarm um, when that condition is met. So when it's less than 13.6 volts. So what we want to do is set this to L02 because that's the actual one that's going to uh, cause the alarm. And you can either get it just to play a sound or um, play anything you want really. I actually like it to read out the voltage. Um, so I set it to play value and play V fast, and I want it to repeat Yeah, pretty quick. So I basically want it to repeat continuously, so with a two second gap. And um, yeah, so what that'll mean is when the voltage uh, drops below 13.6, um, it will start reading it out uh, on the radio. Um, and if the voltage doesn't climb back up again, it will just continue to read it out. If, if, like I said, sometimes you get that during a punch out, it might read, say, 13.4 volts on a punch out, and then when you throttle back, the battery bounces, uh, the voltage bounces back up. This will just stop reading it at that point. Um, so you know whether it's the punch out that's caused it or whether the battery's actually nice and low. Um, so to demonstrate what this will actually do, I'm gonna set this to a higher value. I think the battery's at about 14 volts. So if I set it to... 14.8 volts. There we go. So I've got that set to 15 volts now. Volts. So now it's triggered. So... 14.8 It's reading 14.8. So if I move this to 14.2, then it's no longer saying anything. So I'll put this back to 13.6 because I want it on an actual warning. And yeah, so that's how that works. So the next thing I want to do is um, I use a timer on my quad, so I'll just exit out of this. For this one, I've got um, two and a half minutes of throttle time. Um, and that will then uh, give me a countdown, and then when the time has elapsed, it tells me the time has elapsed. The main reason for that is if something happens and the flight controller stops reading out the battery voltage and if I, I don't pay attention to the OSD, um, then this gives me like a, a final sort of safety check. The you've been flying longer than normal um, check. Uh, so what I want to do though is one thing I always forget to do is to reset the flight. So to, to do that normally we do is just hold that key down, hit reset, hit reset flight. Um, and that resets the timer back. 
Um, and it resets all the other stats as well, so the maximum and the minimum and, and all of those things. Um, but I want it to do this when I disconnect the battery, because then I don't need to worry about it all the time. Uh, so to do that, you can actually set two functions up. I need a logical switch to start with. So I need an A is less than X. So in this case, and this is going to arm my quad, I want to use my arming switch. So I use the, the two position switch on the top left. Uh, down is off, up is armed. So I want SF is less than zero. Um, so how this works is on a three position switch, the middle is zero, the top is 100, and the bottom is minus 100. So on a two position switch, you've got positive 100 for, the, for up and negative 100 for down, because you have no middle position. So in this case, if SF is less than zero, then it must be down, um, and down for me is disarmed. So this L3 will now activate when the quad is disarmed. The other thing I want to do is check that the battery's plugged in because I, I don't want it to reset just when I disarm. I want it to reset when I disarm and pull the battery out. And there's a neat trick you can do with that. So there's a setting in this um, in this AND switch that you can use. Um, while I'm on this, if you turn the other way, you get a NOT thing. That little line means NOT whatever you've selected. If you keep going, and it'll take a bit. You find one in here. It says telly. A telly means telemetry. So this means if I'm not receiving telemetry, then this will be active. So right now, this switch is not active. I'm disarmed. If I arm or disarm, that doesn't become active. As soon as I unplug the battery, which I'll do now, there we go. Telemetry lost. You get telemetry lost, and then L3 becomes active because I no longer have telemetry and I'm not armed. So what I need to do is I need to reset the flight um, stats when L3 now becomes active. So to do that, you go into special functions, and I want to find L03. There he is. And I want to find reset. You could just reset the timer. I want to reset everything. So reset all. And there's a little box at the end. You actually need to tick that. Otherwise it doesn't work. If you leave it like that, it just ignores that line. I have no idea why the special function has that, but it's just that last little thing you need to pick. So you'll notice now that L3 has become active. L3's become active because L3 in here has become active. So this fourth line will now activate, it will reset the stats. So if I plug the battery back in, that will go away. There we go, so it's no longer active. So if I, if I arm, let's leave that up there and you can see that the, the counter started to go down. I'll let that go down a little bit. Okay, so if I now unplug the battery, what you'll see is that reset. Telemetry lost. We're back for 2 minutes 30. Um, so that resets my flight when I'm disarmed and pull the battery. Um, so that's it. That's everything I set up on my, uh, on my quads. Um, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Um, and maybe even think about subscribing. Thanks very much.